All right, I wanted to do this step-by-step -step, um, screencast for the half reaction method to balance redox reactions. Balance redox reactions. And we are going to follow two different routes. We are going to follow um, when the medium is acidic. And we are also take, going to take a look um, at uh, the method where the medium is basic. But we are going to take a look at both of these. Um, so let's take a look at the acidic media first. Acidic media means that you have protons in your system. Remember that. Uh, and let's say I have to balance out permanganate reacts with bromide to give you MN2 plus and bromine. Now a couple things before we get started. Uh, we call it a half reaction method and the reason why we do that is because um, we are going to actually split this entire redox reaction into the two half reactions, the oxidation and the reduction half. And then we are going to balance each of those and then we are going to combine those back. So first step, you're going to identify, let me just write that on the side, identify. And all these, all these steps are actually written uh, on the PowerPoint slides, but I just wanted to go uh, you know, step by step because it's easy to follow and it's a big chunk of uh, the dry lab 5. So the first step is to identify oxidation and reduction. That's the first step. So hopefully you can see here that bromine is in minus one state and if it is bromine uh, elemental then it's zero. So in going from bromide to bromine there's an increase in oxidation number. So that must be your oxidation step. In permanganate the oxidation state of manganese is plus five uh, plus seven. The reason why I know that is because if this is x minus 8 is equal to negative 1, much the same way we did that uh, previously. Um, so that's plus 1. And since this is only a, a single ion holding a plus 2 charge, the charge here is plus 2. So from going from um, in going from plus 7 to plus 2, that's a decrease in oxidation number. So this must be your reduction cycle. So I'm going to separate this into two different uh, modes, the reduction mode, which gives you MN2+, plus, and the uh, oxidation mode, let's just write that, that this is reduction, and the oxidation mode, which is Br-, minus, giving you Br2, which is oxidation. Now, um, the second step is, after you have identified, the second step is balance all atoms, balance all atoms other than, other than uh, oxygen and hydrogen. So if you notice, um, in the reduction mode, I have one manganese on each side, so that's balanced. Um, in the oxidation mode, I have two bromines on the right hand side I have only one on the left hand side that means I must multiply the left hand side by two the third step is that I should balance oxygen by using water molecules to the side that needs it to the side that needs it needs it so if you notice in case of the oxidation half cycle there is no oxygen uh, oxygen involved so i'm okay there um in case of the reduction half cycle um, i have four oxygens on the left hand side none on the right hand side so i'm going to add four h2o's on the right hand side the fourth step is balance hydrogens hydrogens by adding protons 
to the side to the side that needs it so hopefully you can see that uh, hopefully you can see that um, we don't have that kind of uh, issue in the second uh, reaction but I have four times two eight hydrogens on the right hand side that means I must add eight protons to the left hand side so uh, once you have that the last step is to balance balance charge using electrons so now I'm going to rewrite because um, I have added way too much so uh, let's see what my oxidation uh, cycle will look like I have two bromides that means I have two negative charges that means I must add two electrons on the right hand side so my equation will look like 2Br negative gives you Br2 plus two electrons if you look at the reduction cycle I already have eight protons I have a permanganate that means I have seven positive charges I'm sorry eight positive charges I have one negative charges that means I have total seven positive charges on the right hand side I have MN2 plus and I have 4H2O so that means I have total two positive charges so according to you uh, which direction should I add the electrons if I have seven positive on the left hand side only two positive on the right hand side yes you should be adding five electrons on the left hand side now that you have done that realize everything is balanced other than the fact that one of these equations has two electron change the other is a five electron change and it really uh, is not possible you really have to have the same number of electron change in a redox reaction so the overall change is such that it nullifies each other what does that tell you that tells you that in order to get your overall reaction you will need to multiply the first reaction by five and the second reaction by two before you add them up so let's go ahead and do that so that my last step is um, multiply multiply the reactions by the factor factor to get to get the least common multiple and add equations and add equations so for instance if one of these would have been two electrons and the other would have been three electrons you would have multiplied one equation by uh, three and the other by two it's that idea and now when you add the equations it's going to look like 10 bromides plus 16 protons plus 2 permanganate plus 10 electrons gives you 5 Br2 plus 10 electrons plus 2 Mn2 plus plus 8 water realize the 10 electron and the 10 electron is going to cancel off and what remains is your balanced redox reaction based on what you just heard I want you to balance out another equation this is for your trial purposes you're given nitrate plus copper gives you NO and CO2 plus the steps that will be involved are right over here but I want you to take the time I'm just going to give you the final answer but you have to take the steps because if you don't know the steps uh, in the test you could get questions like uh, what is the change of electrons or uh, you know in the oxidation half reaction what is the change of electrons or um, what is the stoichiometric coefficient in front of that kind of stuff so you have to know how to how to balance this you have to know the steps 
Um, so you can take your time with that. Again, you have to identify the oxidation and reduction, and the best way to do that is to look at the oxidation number um, for your benefit. Uh, I can tell you, one, that copper is zero here, so it's going from zero to plus two. That's an increase in oxidation number, so this must be your oxidation reaction, but you have to prove it to yourself that nitrate to nitrogen monoxide is a reduction um, cycle. And then you have to balance out uh, atoms other than oxygen and hydrogen first. Then you have to balance the oxygens using water to the side that needs it. And of course, when you put in the water, you will be putting in some uh, hydrogen atoms. And in order to balance that, because everything is an acidic media, you would be able to use protons. Um, once you have the protons in place, now it will be time to balance the charge using electrons. And then finally, you would balance the electrons on the two equations before you add the equations completely. So your overall balanced reaction should look like, in this case, it should look like two nitrates aqueous plus eight protons aqueous plus three copper gives you three copper two plus plus 2 NO plus 4 H2O. And so if you want to, I mean, my suggestion would be that you should um, make sure that you verify that the equation that you've gotten is um, balanced. So a seventh step that you should add is to verify that you balanced it right. And let's take a look how. You have three coppers here. We have three coppers on the left-hand side. Two nitrogens, two nitrogens right over here. Two times three is six oxygens. I have two coming from NO4 coming from uh, H2O, so we are good. We have four times two, eight hydrogens on the right-hand side. I have eight hydrogens on the left-hand side. So atoms look balanced. How about charge? NO and H2O are not charged. The only charge that you have is, is through Cu2+. Plus. And we have three of those. So I have six positive charges um, on the right-hand side. And I have eight positive charges, two negative charges. That means I have six positive charges on the left-hand side as well. We have a balanced equation. All right, let's talk about the half-reaction method to balance redox reactions, but now in a basic media. The steps are very similar to the acidic media. There's only one additional step, um, and that is prior to the verification. Um, and I'm going to still take you through all of the steps, and we are going to add that last step to make sure that it's now in basic media. Um, uh, so again, the first step is to get the oxidation and the reduction. So hopefully you can see that you have uh, SO32 negative. That means you have sulfur in the plus 4 oxidation state. Sulfur is in the plus 6 oxidation state. It had 3 oxygens on the left side. It has 4 on the right hand side. That means this must be your oxidation half cycle. MnO4 negative, manganese has a plus 7 oxidation state. MnO2, it has a plus 4 oxidation state. That means uh, that must be a reduction cycle. So your two half reactions are SO3 to negative gives you SO4 to negative, and that is your oxidation half cycle. And MnO4 negative and MnO2, and that's your reduction half cycle. The second one is the reduction half cycle. Okay, now we are going to take the time to balance. Uh, in each of these, I'm going to balance all atoms other than oxygen and hydrogen. So that's the second step so for my oxidation half reaction notice sulfur is the only other atom and i have one of each on both sides so i'm good with that if i look at the reduction half cycle i have manganese which is also balanced so we are good with step number two we are good with that the third step is to balance the oxygen by using water to the side that needs it so for the oxidation half cycle notice you have four oxygens on the right hand side you have three on the left hand side that means you must add a water molecule on the left hand side 
Likewise, you have MnO2, two oxygens on the right-hand side, four on the left-hand side. That means you should add two H2O for the right-hand side. Fourth step is balance hydrogen by adding protons to the side. That needs it. Um, you have two times two, which is four. That means uh, you will be adding four protons to the left-hand side and you would be adding two protons to the right hand side uh, to balance the hydrogen and now we have to balance the charge so let's just write it again so that we know what we are talking about so so far I have H2O plus SO3 2 negative gives you SO4 2 negative plus 2H plus and that's my oxidation reaction and then MnO4 negative plus 4 protons gives you MnO2 plus 2H2O and that is your reduction cycle and now the question is that we have to balance the charge using the electrons so you're going to see how many net charges you have and which direction uh, uh, you should add the electrons to. So notice in the first case you have two negative charges on the left hand side, you have two negative charges on the right hand side and then two positive charges as well. That means you must add two electrons to balance the charge for the first reaction. And if you notice the, the uh, second reaction you would see that you have one negative and you have four positive charges that means overall you have three positive charges here but you have no charges on the right hand side that means you should add three electrons uh, to balance out those three positive charges so the top reaction the oxidation reaction has a two electron change the bottom reaction has a three electron change what must be done yes you got it right you should multiply the top reaction by three and you should multiply the bottom reaction by 2 before you add. So let's do that. Um, it'll look like 3H2O plus 3SO3 2 negative plus 2MnO4 negative plus 8 protons will give you 3SO4 2 negative plus 6 protons plus 6 electrons and how does the 6 electrons here are going to give you 2 MnO2 and 4 H2O so the 6 electron and the 6 electron is going to cancel off and what remains is your balanced reaction in uh, in the acidic media. Now one thing that I would suggest is to kind of try to consolidate. You have three molecules of water on the left hand side, you have four on the right hand side, so how about I cancel three out of the four. Likewise you have six protons on the right hand side, you have eight on the left hand side, so it leaves behind two protons. So what's remaining now is actually your balanced reaction in acidic media. But your job was to get the balanced reaction in basic media. So what is that one last step that you have to add? Let's take a look at that. That last step is that you should add whatever is the number of protons that you got. You should add the same number of hydroxides to both the sides of the equation because you want to keep it basic, right? So the seventh step, the seventh step in a basic media is going to be add the number of hydroxides to be equal to both sides, BS is for both sides, um, which equals, which equals the number of protons. What does that mean? That means that if I have two protons in this case, I must add two hydroxides to both the sides of the equation. Let's see what that equation will look like. That will look like 3SO3 to negative plus 2MnO4 negative plus 
two protons plus two hydroxides gives you three sulfate gives you two MnO2 and gives you one H2O now what is H plus N O H minus? If you combine the two, what does that pan out to be? What does that give you? Hopefully you realize that this gives you water. H with one O H gives you one H2O. So if I have two of those, that's going to give me two H2Os. So you're going to get three SO3 plus OH. Three SO3, two negative plus 2 MnO4 negative plus 2 H2O gives you 3 SO4 2 negative plus 2 MnO2 plus 1 H2O plus 1 or 2 rather because we added 2 right and 2 hydroxides so one molecule of water and one molecule of water is going to cancel out. What remains is your balanced equation. So this is your balanced equation. For the sake of argument, let's quickly check. Three sulfurs on each side, that's good. Three times three is nine, plus one from water, ten, plus eight oxygens. I have... 3 times 4, which is 12, plus uh, 4, 16, and 17, 18. So oxygens are balanced as well. 2 manganese on each side. Then I have 2 hydrogens on each side. Atoms are balanced in terms of charge. I have 6 negative charges in sulfite. And I have 2 negative in permanganate. So that means 8 negative charges. And I have 6 negative from the sulfate, 2 negative from the hydroxide. We are in business. We have it all balanced. Now, if you were wondering, oh, I need to practice more, guess what? Dry Lab 5 is all about this. So if you start there early, if you have watched the screencast, which covered both acidic as well as um, the uh, basic media, there are like five problems, I think, on acidic, if I'm right, and I think five on the basic. Um, so it's a pretty extensive uh, practice for the reason. Of you, of you, obviously, there is a reason for that because I want you to be absolutely perfect with all of the steps so that you're able to do that in the test as well. Um, so please take the time. Start there early. It's a question of doing it and showing your work. Um, so that you understand this material and you're able to use that to your benefit um, in your in your test for as well as the final as well. All right.